what is your honest opinion on coming straight off the trail so that other people with a Long stock... Long bed stock Tacoma TRD mountain limo. Yeah. How, how Don't do, do it. Do not do it. It sucks. That's right, folks. We're going to get into some sketchy stuff today as we take on Black Bear Pass. start today's video out a little bit different than most of our videos usually we try to tell you where we're at give you a map but this is a trail that needs no introduction we are airing down right now in the background and if you are familiar with this trail or you've heard of this trail you will know that today if you can see behind me there's a bunch of jeeps and we are doing the infamous famous whatever you want to call it, Black Bear Pass. Can a long bed stock Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road do this trail? We're about to find out. Look, it's proof we do air down some. Black Bear Pass is one of the best known Jeep trails in the state and maybe even the country. And that's for the last bit as you descend into Telluride from the switchbacks. But what's the rest of this trail really like? Most of you know that the switchbacks are also known for killing several people over the years. So why in the world would anyone want to do this trail? Well, with historic mines and breathtaking waterfalls, including Bridal Veil Falls, those are just a few sights besides the spectacular views you get along the way. And as long as you're careful on the switchbacks, this trail is rather easy to moderate. But that doesn't account for the pucker factor on the way down. To begin this trail, you head south from Uray on US 550 for about 13 miles. The turnoff for Black Bear is well marked and is just after the summit of Red Mountain Pass. An important note from this trail, if you're hearing about this for the first time, is that this is the only way to start this trail. You cannot start it from the Telluride side. This two-way section of the trail begins at US 550 but once you reach the area of the switchbacks, it becomes a one-way trail and with no return. So once you hit the one-way section of the trail, you cannot return going back the other direction. So if you don't want to do the switchbacks, there will be a clear sign posted as you enter the one-way section and you can feel free to turn around at that point. To be honest, the part that goes up on the two-way section of this trail is rather easy. As you can see, it seems like mostly just a dirt road with some gravel and some rocks in a few places. So if your goal is just to get some really great views and not have to do any hard off-roading, then this section is doable for most people. Of course, with any mountain trail in Colorado, please be advised that there is some shelf road sections even in this easy section. Unlike some of the other shelf roads though, this doesn't really have anything that's off camber. Once you reach the summit of Black Bear Pass, this is truly where the moderate section of the trail begins. So if you're not into doing the moderate side of this, we recommend turning around at this point. And in case you forgot, they've posted this sign here to help you out to remind yourself that this is an extreme road ahead. Expert drivers with high clearance short wheelbases 4x4 vehicles only. Well, I think our Tacoma identifies as a short wheelbase, so we'll give it a go. So we are going, we just finished the top part of Black Bear, and now we are going down the other side. I can honestly say this one has, this trail has so much folklore and actual danger around it that this is one of the few trails that we've been nervous about. <laughs> and so we're a little nervous right now. Um, yes, we are. We are. And and we're, we're just gonna take so our we're time. We're in the world's longest Tacoma <laughs> mountain limo, not designed for it, in between a group of Jeeps. I've seen videos I mean, of they, longer of longer wheelbase vehicles uh, yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. They're but, also two foot taller than this, they're like super duties. But we're, we're gonna see. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, someday soon we'll have better tires. But we're just checking in to let you know that we are actually nervous for this trail. If we don't make it out alive, please find the video. <laughs> please find our video. <laughs> Yeah, there's like that big rock in the middle. Mm. 
Okay. So we're gonna show off some of the other sections of Black Bear that you typically don't see on most other videos. Now, I know this switchback looks seriously flat, but I can assure you that it's not. Those rocks that are to the Tacoma's passenger side are very large, even though they appear flat on the screen. So that's why Dane is taking such a wide angle on this switchback. So this is really the first major obstacle that you'll face on this downside hill of the trail. The other obstacle that no one likes to talk about on this trail or mentions it on any other videos that we've watched is the fact that this section is very loose. These rocks are very sharp and pointy, which we were a little nervous about considering that we've had problems with the Tacoma's tires in the past. Since you're going downhill, grip seems to be an issue for some vehicles, but the Tacoma handled it like a champ. Once you complete this section, you will finally reach the point of no return. Once you go past this sign, you can't go back, so be sure you're committed. Also, once past this sign, the trail gets progressively harder until you're done with the trail at the switchbacks. Whoa! You're okay. It is. As you saw on that obstacle, the Tacoma got a little tippy. That is part of the problem with having a long wheelbase on this trail. If you do decide to take a longer wheelbase vehicle, be prepared to be tippy because it gets tippier up ahead. From the looks of it, this trail is pretty easy, maybe moderate in some places. But don't let that put you in a false sense of security. There are more obstacles than are what listed online. okay though I think. Take more straight off. Yeah. Like right there would be good I think. Yeah you're okay over here. Yeah, your back tire is down, you're good. <laughs> Hug the bushes. You gotta get your tire here. The guys go straight. No. Keep going straight. They're coming off. Okay, now you keep going straight for a little longer. Yes, trust me. Now start turning in a little bit. Yes, you're fine. Keep turning. You're okay. Now just come off really slow on that back. There it comes off. Here's coming. There you go. Now turn as hard as you can towards me. My way. My way. Well, that looked like lots of fun, didn't it? Don't worry, there's more fun still to come. But for a little bit, you get a tiny reprieve of just some easy, moderate rocks. Keep going straight. Now passenger, cut it a little bit. Right that, yeah, that's good. And cut a little more. You're perfect, now straight.
And before you know it, you'll be at the hard spot, the steps. So if we want to step it down this way, we got to get you lined up right here. Okay, now slow. You're dropping. There you go. He's been front. I can see the sides. No, I'm just thinking. No. So yeah, you're okay there. You're okay in front right now. You're okay, right there, yeah. Going straight. And then north passenger, just a little bit. Okay. Now you're gonna go straight. You're okay. Now turn driver. Okay. Now, I think you're gonna wanna come off this way, yeah. So keep coming towards me. Now keep, you yeah, go straight. Keep going, yep, 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 keep going. Yep, yes, yes, that's perfect. Now turn passenger. Right there, now dry, straight. Now I will say that is some of the hardest spotting I've ever done in my life, and I wouldn't want to do it again. I would definitely say if I was to do this again in a long bed Tacoma, I would want rock sliders, at least for some insurance policy. Sadly, there was more to come. Okay, you're gonna want to back up, I think. Or you can pull more forward this way and then back up more. Yeah, start turning. All right, here comes one ledge. Okay. Okay, so I'm about to come off. Hold on one second. We need to back up a little bit. We need to go a little more driver. Okay, now go a little more driver. Yeah, right there is perfect. Right there, I'm slow. There you go. Now you can start turning passenger very slightly. Very slightly. Yes, passenger now. You're, you're golden there. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so now we're gonna have to watch your back end, so go straight. You watch your driver because he can't see it. Okay, so we might hit our back end, hold on. I want you to... I think I want to stack a rock, yes, because it's gonna be just a little much for the bumper. Yeah, let's stack a few. I think it would get the end at the very, I think it'd get the corner. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. I don't think I stack enough rock for that. Well, I was thinking if you back up a little bit, we can get it off where the front tire came off. You want to try that first?
I think that, that little, that's good, yeah. Now, if you can go any more driver, go a little bit. Kind of get it off. Okay, now slow, slower than slow. And it's coming off. It's about to touch, okay. Now if you can go slow and not bounce it, we're good. We're good. As you can imagine, I got way more gray hairs after that spot. But the fun was not over yet. Another thing to note about Black Bear Pass is during busy weekends, you'll probably have to wait to go down the switchbacks. On the weekend we were there, it was fairly busy but not terrible. So they could get the aura. Aura's heavy, right? So a special note is that Dane did this obstacle by himself in the Tacoma. I was spotting the wall on the outside for him since he had his mirror folded in. The trick with the steps is to make sure that you're close enough to the passenger side, but not too close so you don't get tippy. You get too tippy, you'll go into that waterfall on the side. So we are about halfway down the steps, and by golly, they are a lot scarier than you think, but there's only a couple lines to pick, so it's not too difficult to spot. Once you make it down all that, you get to take a break at this amazing waterfall. And yes, we're a Tacoma in a group of a bunch of Jeeps. Seems to be our lot in life. Never again. Never. Never, ever, ever, never again. Well, we weren't done yet, Dane. We still had to make our final descent down into Telluride on the switchbacks. Yeah. 
As we make our way to the hardest switchback of the trail, let's talk about how narrow this road truly is. I can honestly say that I almost felt that the Tacoma was a little bit oversized for this trail. Now, if you're like us, you watch other YouTube videos and you've seen someone take a power wagon on this road. Honestly, I would never do that. There's a few spots that you felt like your tires were gonna hang over the edge just a little bit and the road is giving way. If you hate shelf roads and don't like heights, this is not the pass for you. I am not a fan of switchbacks and heights. I have healthy respect for them and this trail really challenged my courage to be sitting in that passenger seat going down it. But we've made it this far, right? And haven't damaged the Tacoma yet. Let's see if we can get it around that most difficult switchback. Now this switchback is famous for taking multiple turns. Let's find out how many the Tacoma is going to take. Can I let the motorcycle go? You can go a little further. Uh, you want to wave them around? I don't know. I think they might be waiting. I don't know. Right there. Don't get me too close like a Travis. I wasn't. You had a foot. Now my back's where I'm going to need some help too. I'm standing on the edge, so. No, my back I can't see though. Okay, keep going. There's a barack right behind the bumper. I know. Right there. He's, uh, he does not like it. Okay, turn it again. Keep going. How much room do I have? You've got... I would stop there. That's a foot. I need more than the foot in case the damn thing slips. Okay, keep going. I'm watching your back bumper. Right there. Now let's get this rock. Yeah, why don't you get on the other side and watch me. <sighs> okay. Well, I can't see that rock. You're good. Keep going. Oh, Jesus. I'm right on the edge. No, you're not. You're okay. I need more room than that. So back up one more time and I think you have it. Right there, yeah. I can't, I mean, I'm on the freaking edge. You're good. Drive right towards me and you're fine. That's all I got. You ain't turning no more. You can't see your rock on the other side, but I think you're okay. Um, I can see it, I'm good. How's my front? Keep turning right there and you'll miss the giant hole. Thank God, I'm gonna back up, I'm on that hole. Yeah, I was like right over there, you think? No, you had like two feet. You made it, good job. After that, you'll have several more switchbacks to descend and some of them are pretty tight. This one's probably one of the wider ones on the way down. You've got like six feet. One, a little bit more. You're good. That's like three feet. You're fine. You're teetering, but you're okay. You got room. You got you got about three feet. You've got room to go forward. Okay, I'm just telling you.
Right there. I would stop there. You're getting close to the rock. You're okay, you got room. You can back up again if you need to. Right there, yep, that's perfect. We have officially made it through the one-way section of Black Bear. So this is the Bridal Veil False part. So you can kind of see over here. This is Bridal Veil. So we've officially completed the Black Bear Pass. What, yes. what What is your honest opinion of coming straight off the trail so that other people with a Long stock... Long bed stock Tacoma TRD mountain limo. Yeah. How, how don't you... do it. Do not do it. It sucks. I would drive up to the single way from the will you race side to where it goes to one way traffic, turn around, come back, and then drive around and come to Telluride and drive up this way. And go to Bridalville Falls and avoid the sketchy stuff in the middle. Mr. Bumpers by that much, my heart can't take it. I've never seen it bounce so much flexing. Oh my god, I've never bounced or flexed that much. Or if you have like a Jeep Gladiator or anything other than this that's more capable, yes, feel free, have fun. Shorter wheelbase would be good, very good. Yeah, don't do it though, do not do it, unless you're super brave and you enjoy getting spotted and bouncing and have better lifts and have more of a lift and have like you know, have a lift and big tires and metal bumpers like the Tacoma would need to do that capably. I would have felt a lot more confident in a gladiator. In the, if we had rock rails. In a gladiator. I don't know necessarily. In a gladiator. I think a Tacoma with a two inch lift, some rock rails and some better yeah, tires. Yeah, giant tires and then re-gear it so you just add an extra five to seven thousand dollars and you can do that. The wheelbase did. Oh, and steel bumpers would be good so you don't rip the plastic yes. one off like we almost did. There, yes. So just ten thousand dollars in mods, and she'd walk right through. And a shorter wheelbase, get the short bed. Good luck. Yeah, That's the long bed can make it, as we've proven. Never again. Um, ever. I will have to say that a spotter, I spotted my pants off. I think my recommendation for this trail, if you're going to do it, you in a stock vehicle is probably not your best option. <sighs> I would do a stock Gladiator. A stock Tacoma is capable, obviously, we did it. If you had a short bed, it wouldn't be quite, you still have some pretty close bumper But you calls. want to bring a spotter. If you feel like you want to lose 50 years off your life. Take this. <laughs> take Black Bear Pass. In and a long bed. In a long bed. <laughs> Not having a spotter would be a very big mistake on this trail. Like you no, definitely want a spotter. On, it's definitely a big mistake too. Mm -hmm. Never again. Yeah, I scared me. Anyways, I'm good. All right, <laughs> trail wrap up. Don't do it if you're in a Tacoma, unless you're short, but and you have steel bumpers. Feel free to blast through there. And better tires. And better tires and stock. Because and don't do it if it's wet. Yeah, no, I wouldn't touch don't this. Don't touch this if it's wet. It's dry today and All it's right. slick as snot. We've warned them there now. Everybody will believe me some, and they won't believe us, and they will, and they'll do it. Good luck. Yeah, you all tell us Good that luck. you have a Jeep on 37s. Yeah, and it was so 35s easy. and 37s. Thanks. I understand why you do it. It makes sense. I do it happily too, and it still be a little sketchy. We watched some Jeeps that almost rolled. <laughs> yeah, one guy took a really bad line. He at one almost point. rolled, and he had 38, 37s, or 38s, and a Jeep. It was kind of sketchy for him too, so it's yeah. not the easiest trail. I mean, it is not an it easy trail. driving skill no matter what you get. So. Yep. So we'll catch you next time. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and we'll see you out there on the trail soon. Bye for now. Bye.